Hey YouTube, it is time, it is very long overdue. We are gonna do the full length Denturi DIY denture kit. So if you're from my TikTok, you know that I made these myself here at home. I've also made other pairs, that's not the only one. Um, I don't work for this company. I found myself in a position where I was immediately in need of teeth ASAP a couple months ago. I found that this kit was available, purchased it, completely fell in love, and then started making these videos on my TikTok. And I have learned over the past couple months that there's a couple tricks and tips that I do that differ a little bit from other tutorials that you can find that I seem to have really good success with. I've gotten a lot of good feedback, so I thought I would sit down and uh, do a full length video start to finish so you guys can see every single step of the way. Um, so, again, the company is called Denturi. Um, they are the inventors of the denture kit. Um, and this is what it's going to look like. Everything that you're going to get. You're going to get a white box. We get impressions to make the mold. With that is um, putty, which are these. Uh, you know, we're going to go through every step, but you're going to get this. That's what you, you make in the mold here. Um, and then you get your plaster, which is how you make the hard mold. And then you get accessories. You know, you get like a toothbrush and um, all the necessary things that you need. You also get the gum material, which probably looks a little weird, but that's to uh, make the gums. And of course, your teeth. You get your denture cup, all the necessities um, to care for the actual dentures once they've been made. So I'm going to take these out and uh, we're going to start right at the beginning with step one. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to do is find the mold that fits in your mouth. They do have small and large, that is what you will order. And I would like to note that I have an extremely small mouth. When I get any dental work done or when I did in the past, oftentimes they had to use uh, children's size um, molds and, and all kinds of dental equipment that are children's size. And the small option when you buy the kit uh, does work in my mouth. So we have that. We're going to take a white putty and a blue putty. We're going to open them up. And then let's make sure our view is, is nice. and Yeah. We're going to open these up and mix them together. <clears throat> and it's like kind of time sensitive. So once we open them, we got to start mixing them. You mix them as good as you can for 30 seconds. And then we're going to spread it right in here get it into our mouth, and that's going to take three minutes. Okay, so once we open these and we start molding them together, we need to get it completely blended within 30 seconds. That's the idea. Again, this is time sensitive. I mean, if you're, if you're 10 seconds off, that's not the end of the world. You don't have to rush, but once they touch each other, 30 seconds is the amount of time to mix them together. So what you guys don't see is just out of frame. I have my um, Google on my laptop and it set a 30 second timer. So you just kind of fold it in on itself, mix it around. You want it to, uh, you don't want to see any, you know, just white. You want it mixed in so we're kind of making that blue a lighter color. So you just kind of fold it in on itself, move it around however you can. And that's it. Here's my timer. So you're going to create a log, okay? Like a slug. And you're going to put that in just like this, okay? And then you're going to move some over the top. Not too much. You want, you want this to be filled. Like you want this to come up to here at least. So you don't want to like move it over like that so that it would be lower in there. So... Gonna just, and this is also, um, this is um, almost to your preference. Like if you, I'm gonna end up taking a little bit out, and that's only because I've done this before, and I know how small my mouth is. So okay, there's that. Now I'm gonna put it into my mouth, and when I do that, you want to do it in a mirror. I'm gonna use my phone. It needs to be straight in, and you need to make sure it's evenly pushed up 
on your gums so it's not just up in the front and tilted like that you want to make sure it's it's evenly pushed up on all your gums and then we're going to set a three minute timer So, mine came out fairly easy, okay? And this is what it looks like. So, um, you might have a tight suction. There might be a tight suction for you to get out and you just kind of have to work it a little bit, but it'll come out in one piece like this. Now, it's time to get it out of this. And you need to take your time. You need to take your time and be careful uh, because we don't want to break this. All right, guys. So essentially, you can just work it out of this, but see how some of it has come through? All these things, you need to get that off. It's very easy to pick it away, okay? Just kind of comes right off. Because um, if you try and just tear it out from there, you're going to break your mold in half, okay? Now, not everybody has this laying around their house, but I happen to have scalpel blades. So that's what I use because it makes it easier to get this excess off. So then there's no points that are wider than the mold. Um, so, I mean, I guess technically you could use like a steak knife for this. Um, but this is just what I happen to come up with because it's something, this is something that I came up with because I happen to have it available. Excuse my four-year-old in the background. <clears throat> it's just mom and, and him during the day when sissy and dad are at school and work. So, so again, we're just trying to get that little bit of excess off so it's easy for it to come out of the mold instead of there being resistance. And again, you have to be careful because you don't want to break your mold. You do get enough in the kit that you can make more than one mold, um, but theoretically you don't want to have to do that. All right, I think I got most of it. So I am gonna start by kind of like pushing through these slots with my nail. All right, we'll see if we can get it up. I'm starting in the back. See how it just kind of comes up? <coughs> then I'm gonna go to this side. I'm gonna work all the way around. I don't wanna just rip it out from one side. You wanna work it over here and then work it over here. And like, see, I have a point of, I'm trying to bring this up and I have a point of resistance right there. So I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, so after starting to work it out at the end and cutting anything that stopped me, I'm just going to go around the edges. See how it's starting to come up? On this side, I'm still getting stopped a little bit. All right, there we go. So after you work it a little bit, then it will just pop out. And again, look, this is very thin right here. I don't know if you can see that. So you definitely have to be careful. I've had them break before, actually. Um, where is that one? Look at this. This is one of my other molds. It ended up breaking right in half. Actually, it was after the process, but just for perspective. So you definitely want to be careful. Work slowly from each side and um, are molding process or our impression process.
process is uh is done. Let's All right guys, the next thing we're going to do is make our plaster to make a hard mold. So we're going to put a whole bag of this in a bowl. And then we're going to add 35 milliliters of water and they do send um a small cup that has, you know, measurements on it. So I thought I could get it open. All right. Just one whole pack. And then let me grab my water. Not sure what happened, but my video just cut off and my phone said, sorry, something went wrong. I was just saying now we're just mixing this around and now we're going to scoop it into, uh, into the mold here. Okay. I try and do it pretty neatly without getting, um, overflow. Or too much extra. See, I actually put it on the lip of the plate like that so it's not running out the back. You want to make sure it's it's in the middle as well. The whole thing should be covered. And it's okay if it drips out the back. That, that's fine. That's, it happens. Um, That's pretty much it, guys. Now we're going to let that sit and process for about 45 minutes. And then uh, we'll be back to take that out and start shaping the actual dentures. All right, guys. So after letting this sit for about 45 minutes, um, just comes right off, okay? So here is the mold of my mouth. Now... There is a bubble that popped there that's not a big deal. I'm going to break these back pieces off. And then you actually get a file, like a an emery board, a nail file in your kit. And that's to like um, file down any sharp parts that might be on here. I can't touch nail files, me personally. When I used to get my nails done at the salon, I would have to tell them to skip the filing process. They could only use like the big fat... Um, uh, anyway, that's a story for another day, but what you're going to want to do is file down any sharp edges, um, around here. Like this is, this is very sharp. I'm just kind of breaking it off. I do not advise that you try and break your mold. Please don't do that because I don't want you to break your mold and then not have everything that you need. Uh, but this is where we're at. And now it's time to do the gum material. Super easy. I just heat up some water in a pot on the stove, okay? You don't even have to do that. You can put a little bit of water into a cup and microwave it. This stuff, as soon as it gets hot, it becomes malleable, so it's it, it'll have play. And we're literally just gonna mold it right around the teeth. So let me get my water heated up and uh, we'll get going. All right, guys, so I have this uh, gum material heating up, and you literally just press it down on the mold, okay? I'm going to get some more pieces out here. All right, here we go. And look, I mean, it's like gum once it's heated up. It's very easy to work with, and you can heat, reheat it and cool it as many times as you want. So, like, if you put it on and, like, you know, it's starting to get hard and you can't push it around as good as I'm doing right now. You can always just stick this. I put this, like watch. I'll put this right back in the hot water and it instantly will make it like malleable again. 
There we go. So this process is just working it. You want to cover the whole thing and down here. This is the roof of your mouth. When you have a top denture, you need you usually need the roof of your mouth covered. Honestly, you can make this however you want. This is yours. You have the ability to craft it however you would like. But um yeah, typically see this it gets hard pretty quick. So I gotta heat this back up. Typically, uh, a top denture has the whole roof of the mouth covered. All right, here we go. Now you can see the difference. See the, the color difference? It's darker. The stuff that is hot is darker. And this that's starting to cool is lighter. So now it's a matter of just working it around. And then what you want to do is... Um, so once you have it how you want it, I'm going to keep playing with this for a second, but you just kind of take your finger and push like that to smooth it out. Hopefully you can see, yeah, see that shine? That's smoothed out now versus on this side where it's dull and it has my fingerprints. So you just want to put some pressure back and forth and smooth it out so there's no texture. <clears throat> So I am actually going to put this back in the pot. And just, so this is, I'm, I'm pretty good. This is basically it. However, I'm going to put a little bit extra on the back area here and here. I can see it's a little thin. Um, and the other thing is you want to make sure it's not too thin up here. Um, because the mold, it'll be too hard to get it out of the mold. It needs to be like. Uh, all right, let me heat this up a little bit. It all, we also get like tools with like, if you need to use like a tool, um, you'll find one in the box. Uh, again, you'll also find like the file. So I need a little bit more material because I can see right here. You see how you can see the mold almost? It's very thin right there. So when I go to put the teeth on, it's just going to press through. So I'm going to heat another one up and rip it in half and put it just right there. So I'm going to rip this in half and put this right on the right in the front here. Just like that. And that's just from trial and error. Like I knew I needed more there because I've made these a few times. Okay. So that is made. Uh, and now it's going to be time to put the teeth in. So let me pause for a moment. Get the teeth that we want to use. And uh, we'll go ahead. Okay. I didn't hit the record button when I started to put the teeth down because it's like super time sensitive when this is soft. But it's literally, you put them down and you just push them right in. Now, this is not done yet. Um, see how it looks like that tooth is going to come right off. We're going to put extra gum material on the back of both sides for stability. So this is some of like the little leftover pieces. I'm going to throw back in the hot water. I'm going to put one of the full ones in too of the this but we're gonna put gum and remember nobody's gonna see here or here people see your smile right here so adding some extra um, gum material is just gonna give them strength and durability yeah see these aren't even really attached these are actually moving the front ones are in pretty good but uh yeah I'm literally just gonna push this over the back teeth in the back I just put it right, you see how it's basically covering the teeth. Again, this is for stability, so they're not like coming apart on you. I'm going to do the same thing on the, oh, I need to heat this up a tiny bit more. It, it goes from hot to cold pretty quickly, but it's very easy to work with. Same thing on the other back side, right over the teeth there. All right. Cool. Okay, so they're basically done. I'm going to actually hang on a second. 
I can already see I need some stronger gums right in the back here. Hang on. Take this piece. So what I do know, again, I do not work for Denturi, but what I know is they are some amazing people and their customer service. If you have a question during your process, you can call them. You literally can call them if you have a question during your process. Like, that's why I'm here even showing you guys this because how impressed I've been with this company. And again, I was originally a customer. This is not some paid programming you know what i mean um oh i just think they're great i i wish this was available when i needed it 25 years ago you know so that's basically it now it needs to cool all the way i'm just gonna go run it through cold water okay so i ran it through cold water so now you can see how it's like that light color again that's a cool thing too the color is so close to human gums. There's other products out there, like if you need to get fake teeth, not from the dentist, that are like cotton candy bubblegum pink. And it just looks so awful. Okay, so this is uh, one of the hard parts, and that's getting it out of the mold without breaking your mold. Okay? Again, let me tell you this. Yes, this is great that I'm showing you this tutorial, but you should also watch the video from Denturi. Um, I believe it's linked. So here's some stills. You see these pictures? This is from the video from Denturi. And that's what I watched. Well, that's what I watched when I made them. Um, and you do get your instructions. I'm trying to see if there's linked right in here about watching the video. But, um... That's the owner of the company in the video. So he knows what he's doing. Um, it's hard to get this off the mold. I have broken a mold before. This is, this was my mouth. See, and I broke it trying to get teeth off. So you're going to start prying on one side and then to this side. And then to kind of the way that we got it, that we got this out of the mold. Not just trying to rip it out, but like prying a little bit from this side then this side that that's what we're gonna do let me grab a butter knife but also just so you know if you're afraid that you're gonna like break this and and you know, it's not, it's not going well. Call Denturi. See if, call them and see if they have any options. You know, like if you're in the moment and you can't get this. Oh, look at what I did. I didn't even notice that. I put some gum material over the top by accident. Um, so if you're in the moment and you're having trouble getting it out of the mold, do a search online. Thousands of people have used this kit. This is the creator of the DIY Denture Kit. And if you know anything about dental care in America, um, it's not affordable. Even if you have a great job and dental insurance, it's still not affordable. So what I'm running into right now is I really have it up against that top edge. And I kind of knew not to do that <laughs> because I've made these before. Um, so let me see. I might end up pausing the video to work on this because I don't want to waste all this filming time. So I'm trying to get the knife like under the denture here. All right, we're starting. So the other thing is, like I said, how I said I saw that it was thin in some areas. I put more material there because it was so thin. I think it would have broken when I was doing this process. And you can always trim down the dentures afterward. Also, just so you know, the most important part is coming. So you take this off, put it in your mouth. Okay, great. But that's where I have a trick. Because when I took these off the mold and put them in my mouth, they didn't fit. They were uncomfortable and they hurt. So that's where I have a solution and why I'm sharing this with you guys. It's a step further than what you see in like the company's uh, instructional tutorial. So let me pause this while I work on getting this off. Um, because then, like I said, that's the highlight of the show. That's the important part. So hang on.
All right, guys, look. See how I got the knife under that? That's the hardest part. That's what you want to do. I was able to start prying it, okay? So I'm just going to pry a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at a time. Trying to get it to pop up off of the mold. And then I'm going to go to the other side and do it as well. Whoop. All right, now I'm going to try and get under this side as well. Let me pause till we get on. Right, here we go. See, I'm even further in now. I'm just going side to side, prying up a little bit. And don't worry. Like, we're not completely... See how... Okay, see how there's the lip now? We're not completely done. So, like, it's okay if, like, something happens. Like, if, if you know... If you think... If you feel like, oh, wait, I think I just screwed the gums up a little bit. Don't sweat it. Because we're not done the process of our dentures yet. They can, they can always be changed... Hell, you can change them after two weeks of wearing them. There we go. So now I'm working up the other side. Okay. The hardest part is is the first time getting under the denture. There we go. Oh, and I broke it. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. And you can see why I broke it, guys. Look, I made it so thin. I did not put enough plaster on. So take that as a note. Use more plaster. Okay. Take that as a note. All right. So it's it's the top, like the roof of my mouth. I did not use enough plaster. It was so okay. See, I just I just had the teeth come off. Don't worry about that. That's not a big deal at all, because that goes along with how I'm gonna show you my the salty Stella trick to get these to fit perfectly. Because we'd be moving the teeth around anyway. Alright, hang on guys. Alright, I got it. So, it was just a lot of work and back and forth. I'm going to go into my bathroom and rinse this off. And um, then I'm going to show you my magic trick to making these perfect. Alright guys, so it's time to get into my magic trick. Or how I made the dentures perfect for me. So here they are. They have rough edge on the top, which again, you can use the, um, the emery board to sand down so there's no roughness. But when I put them in, they just don't sit right or feel perfect. So what we're going to do, let me clean my plate off here. So I have my pot of water on the stove. Now, I have an extra step here because I accidentally bump some of the teeth out. So I'm going to go into the pot like this first. You know what? Let me use my tongs. That will be a little safer to use my tongs. All right. So I'm going to use my tongs and go teeth first into the pot. And I'm just going to hold them like that for a second. And the reason I'm doing that is so now that I can push the teeth in a little bit harder... Let me put one of these in. And that's this is my situation. This is not always going to happen. This is, again, because I was prying this out of the... Um, prying it out of the... Uh, the mold. And I broke some of the teeth off. So, now look. It's getting loose. We don't want to lose the shape of our mouth. Okay? And this is, this is my trick. So you don't want to lose the shape of your mouth, but what I am going to do, as I'm talking, I'm just putting some of the extra gum material on, but what you guys are going to see me do is put the denture in the hot water, and then I'm going to put it right in my mouth, and that is my personal special trick for making them mold and fit 100% perfectly to my mouth because I've heard it time and time again where people are like I made them and I took it off the mold but like they don't fit right or they're not comfortable like what do I do and my suggestion is to put the whole denture in the hot water just so it gets soft enough to move a little bit and then mold it in your mouth so uh, what I just did was put extra um, gum material on there so that the teeth don't fall out so, again, you'll see extra gum material here and here. Nobody's going to see that. Okay. So, here we go. I am going to dip this in. I'm going to dip it in the water like this. The water's off. It's just warm. Okay. 
You only have to hold it for a second. I'm talking a second. See, it gets darker. I mean like a second. Okay, now it's moving around. We don't want to lose that shape, but now I'm going to mold it to my gums, okay? And then when you're doing this, you have the ability to move and craft the teeth how you want now. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so I like that. There's what I do see is that I wanted, so I can't talk properly with them in when they're soft because they'll fall down, but. So yeah, you, it's not burning hot. And when it's loose like this, you can use your tongue to like move the teeth around. Push it up nice, nice and tight. That's basically it. So that's the Salty Stella trick. Once they are done and they come off of your plaster mold, they're not going to perfectly fit in your mouth. So you want to put them in warm water lightly, just enough so you can mold it around your gums. And that's how you get a perfect fitting denture. And again, you know what I did that you can't see? When this is in my mouth, I'm going like this. With my tongue to like almost push them so say this is the teeth this is my teeth i'm using my tongue to push them out a little bit how i want how i want them to present in the front you can do this as many times as you need let me grab a mirror so that's it that's literally diy dentures they turned out pretty good oh so the reason they're coming down is because they're not hard. I'm going to go put them under water to cure them to make this hard. Okay, so I just cured them to like make them hard. And there we go. So look, you can edit these as much as you like. So if you have a, hard, a, a bad gag reflex, let me put this on a black background. See how I have like, it looks like an M or like an upside down W? You can alter these however you need to. Um, if you have a bad gag reflex, just heat up the back here and take some of it off. So like when I'm done now, okay, these are done, but what I would do is take the time to sit and work on them a little bit. So you're gonna use, you know, a file or an emery board to kind of sand down so it doesn't feel like you have chipmunk uh, gums, if, if that's how yours turned out. Again, in the back, you just wanna make sure this is sanded down. Um, and is comfortable for you. And you can edit these as much as you want. The other thing that I have found is that in the morning, when putting them in, you can even run them under just warm water in the tap, not scolding hot water, and you can literally mold them into your mouth every morning so you have a perfect fit. You can eat with these. You can talk and smile. <laughs> Listen. So many Americans that need dentures cannot afford them because they are priced astronomically and insurance doesn't do anything. This kit is at the, the basic kit that comes with everything that you need to make top and bottom dentures. It comes with everything you need for a whole mouth. And the bottom is the exact same way of what I just did. Top and bottom dentures is under $100. Also, I will put, it's probably on the screen right now, that'll get you a discount. Again, I do not work for this company, but after being a customer and reaching out to them and telling them, listen, I found out that I have tens of thousands of followers that need teeth or that are interested in this. Um, and if that sounds confusing to you, if you're not a regular follower of me, I have just about a million followers over on TikTok. <laughs> so um, there's literally tens of thousands of comments of people telling me, I can't afford dentures, and, and I have all these wonderful stories of people that have already bought this kit. I think if you use Salty Stella, it makes it, I believe it's $79 versus the $3,500 to get middle baseline dentures at the dentist. 
I think this is one of the greatest products ever created, and I can't say that enough. Um, and that's why, and I don't make any money from this, I'm telling you. Like, and I want to stress that because I'm not just saying these great things because I'm going to get a kickback because I don't. I do not get a penny. Um, I just literally love this product that much. I wish it was available years ago. Um, and here, here we are. You hear me talking with these teeth that I just made. Now they've been in my mouth for five minutes and I'm, you know what I mean? No problems, not falling down. Look at that. Look at that. Sorry, I'm looking over here. Technically, if you have to include the time of the mold, we just made dentures in an hour, basically. How amazing is that? Okay, that's it. Questions below. Um, again, if you're doing this and you're struggling with something and I didn't answer it, please reach out to Denturi. Their customer service is amazing. And um, do something kind today.